Hi, it's Kim McGrath from Expressions of the Universe with your December tarot scopes for your sun sign, rising sign, and moon. I have your stars and I have several decks of cards that I'm going to do readings for you. Now I just want to point a few things out. This is for your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon. So you want to look up all of those signs. Not everything will resonate with you. Take what does and discard the rest. It's as simple as that. Howdy Virgo, sun signs, rising signs, and moons. It's your December taroscope. We're going to see what your year end theme word is and your new decade theme word. It's all the one and the same unless I pick more than one. Okay. So boy, what a year. What a year this has been. We're looking for a new theme. And this came up before for somebody else and it's intention. And I think it came up for the Capricorns. So this is about setting intentions and making new intentions for the coming year. Um, I really love this card because intentions to me are wishes and I'm thinking about somebody who is a Capricorn sun sign and a Virgo rising sign and you wound up getting the same card. So because of that, I am going to pick another card for the Virgos, but it's really time for you to set your intentions about how you want this new decade to look, how you want this new year to look, and how you want to end this year. On what note? And I like this. I like this for you guys. It's birth. Uh, this is definitely Virgo-esque. So this is new beginnings, but this is also children showing up in your lives. And I really like this. Children, grandchildren, this could even be fur babies. Um, something new is coming and it's on its way. So I like that for you. All right, so I'm going to pull cards from a couple of different decks and then I'm going to do a little mini reading for you. And I pre-shuffled all of the cards just to save on time. And your animal totem for December is Giraffe Spirit and it says, see the big picture. And I love that. Giraffe Spirit is so beautiful. But you know how the giraffes, they're so, their necks are so long, they're so tall, they could see all over the land without any effort. This is the position that you want to take, Virgos. You want to just see the big picture, stand back and observe. Don't make any rash judgments or actions and just take everything in and make your decisions from there. Your enchanted map card is, oh, it says sacred pool. And I love this. This is really kind of ominous. I haven't seen this card for some time. Sacred pool. This is about going, um, going to a sacred body of water and immersing yourself in this. This could also be your bathtub filled with salt, Epsom, sea salt, Himalayan salt. Sacred pool is also the place where you draw your energy from, where you draw your inspiration from, um, where you draw your wherewithal and your being from. This is about going into meditation and finding that sacred pool within yourself that you can draw your reserves from. I really love this. Uh, I haven't seen that card for so long, but that's really beautiful. And this would say to me that this is definitely a huge transformational time for the Virgos, sun signs, rising signs, and moons. All right, now your little mini reading. Choices, choices, choices. Decisions, decisions, decisions. There are so many decisions before you. You're very overly emotional about all of the choices that you have to make 
you're wanting to make some new choices you're wanting to go into a new direction this is saying choose from your heart space not from your head space and you will be able to choose wisely toiling away toil toil at the mundane keeping your nose to the grindstone and it, I'm showing like some sort of boredom but good work is being done this is a master craftsman somebody who is very skilled at what they do um, they have a very good reputation and actually I do see an expansion in business here that will take you in new directions and that's pretty good for the Virgos now <clears throat> the next card that's coming up it's the two of wands so this is also another choice that can be made do you expand your territory which direction do you go in this is new growth new opportunities and if you see the merchant is holding the world in the palm of his hand this is um, almost kind of like you know the the world card where the world is your oyster but he's trying to make a decision and he's unsure if his decision will be right now remember you want to choose and decide from your heart space not your head space although if you're a Virgo you want to want to see it on paper you want to know that it will work out uh, don't let analysis turn into paralysis because that happens too often with Virgos the next card that's coming up it's the nine of pentacles and this is saying your choice will pay off this is beauty abundance this is gardens this is a beautiful solitary life and look the lovely lovely empress here has a, a bird on her hand so some of you this could mean a new pet is coming into your life like I said with the birth um, this is the enjoyment of gardens the enjoyment of the space in which you are living in I really love that for for the Virgos a lot of finance cards are coming up for Virgos because here we go again with the boredom and not wanting to do the chores and the tasks at hand uh, this is saying that you have tasks that are piling up and you just don't feel like getting them done it's that time of year where you just want to take a break I say that you need to at least clear off your to-do list before you can take that break do not be a miser with your funds because as you are holding back squirreling away you are actually creating a negative flow of financial energy towards yourselves and you'll lose money so this is also saying as you're checking off that to-do list and finishing up the tasks before the end of the year don't do a shitty job don't do a shoddy job because you're going to wind up losing customers that way you have to um, take care of everybody with the quality and the precision that you are that they are accustomed to getting and then finally we have some big changes coming for the Virgos this is not necessarily the death card but this is change transformation and rebirth so this will be coming in 2020 this will be triggered by the stellium in Capricorn from now until Mm, I would say January 21st big changes are coming that could be setting things up for what is coming in 2020 the way things look right now are not going to be the way they look one year from now I will tell you that and that's all I have for you so thank you thank you thank you if you like this video please share it with your friends be sure to subscribe whichever side the face is on comment me give me some thumbs up it's the end of a decade beginning of a new decade 2020 I expect it to be fabulous full of surprises I hope you're here with me thank you so much for watching 
supporting and coming back for more until 2020. Thank you.